Today we're talking about fixed blades, more specifically EDC fixed blades. Do you ever carry a fixed blade on a daily basis? It is probably one of the best selling fixed blades on our site. There's really not a lot better options out there. Okay, we want to know if you carry a fixed blade, where do you carry it? What is up guys? Today at Blade HQ on Knife Banter, we have Austin and we have Tyson. Tyson is a new face on Knife Banter. You've probably seen him in previous videos. What do you do here, Tyson? I am a buyer. I He's, buy stuff all day. It's he fun. is the guy that gets to look at <laughs> knives and buy them for the website. So he has a very important job and a very fun job. Now, Austin, what are we doing today? Today we're talking about fixed blades, more specifically EDC fixed blades. EDC fixed blades. Yeah. What does that mean? Uh, it's a lot of us carry folders in our pockets. This is a fixed blade knife that you strap somewhere on your body and you carry it every day pretty much regardless. So we're going to talk about a couple different types of fixed blades, where you might carry them, why you might carry them, and we're going to start with Tyson. Now the reason we've got Tyson on here, aside from being a prodigious knife buyer, he carries what? Uh, Bradford Guardian 3. And where do you carry it? Uh, right here. So you're going for an abdomen carry. Yes, I never thought I'd carry a fixed blade with all my extra, you know, material here. <laughs> but this leather sheath is awesome. I forget it's there. Nice. And I'm pretty sure I've carried this just about every day since May of 2015 when I bought it. So wow. I recommend these to everyone. I just absolutely adore this knife. It's a perfect size. Good steel. Yeah, I love it. And you're carrying it in kind of a cross drop, like a, yeah. Yeah, just waistband. It's right there. So, so I mean, you can't beat that for, you know, yeah. when you need to cut something real quick. Okay. So I've, I'm also carrying a Bradford. You, you can't <laughs> even tell, right? Sure. Um, another Guardian. This is a Guardian 4. A little bit larger. You want to pull yours out and we'll do a quick size comparison. You can see the size between them. And this one's actually on sale right now. N690 steel on this one. It will be on sale until it is gone. So check it out. There's a link up here in the card. <laughs> Um, so I'm carrying this belt carry and I'm in a cross draw position there. This is a little big for my personal preferences. Uh, you can see it there. It's definitely going to leave a print no matter how you, there's no way around right. it. When I was growing up, uh, my dad would always take us, take me hunting. And this seems like a hunting knife to me. This does. Like, this is, yeah, that's how we would carry our hunting knives is outside the waistband vertically. And just would you carry it left or right? Uh, right hand. Right not, hand. Not cross draw. Yeah. Okay. What's the, I, I don't carry a big fixed blade, what's sure. the advantage to being on the right side or the left? I, I couldn't tell you. I mean, okay. I, I carry a gun around sometimes, I obviously carry that on the right side. Yeah. So if you were to carry a fixed blade, you might want it on your cross draw not to interfere. In case but the deer comes up on you real quick. Right. Ah, ah, ah. Sneaky deer. <laughs> hey man. <laughs> so Bradford Guardian, definitely a good piece. You could, you could fixed blade carry an SC, SC4, you could carry just about any fixed blade mm -hmm. in this position. And uh, there you have it. All right, Austin, what are you carrying? Yeah, I got the CRKT Obake. Obake on yeah, a static cord. A static cord. Yeah, and that's how he designed it, right? It's a Burnley design. Yep. And um, he designed it to be on the static cord where you can move it up in front if you are sitting down or on the side if that's more comfortable for yeah. you. And yeah, it's just a great little kind of a minimalist fixed blade. Yeah. And yeah, it's just, it's a great EDC piece, I think. Definitely. Mm -hmm. It's uh, inexpensive as well. Mm -hmm. um, you can pick one up for, what, 40 bucks, I Something think, right in there. Yep. Um, nice thing about that, I like that you can you can switch it to kind of your abdomen carry, right. or you can carry it back here. Yeah. No problem. And for it, sure. it's a quick switch, yeah, too. Yeah, it moves all around. Yeah. Like, that's not a problem at all. So. Do you ever carry a fixed blade on a daily basis? Not on a daily basis. I tried it out for a little bit. I carried around a Cold Steel Spike series, and it was okay, but um, they're a little tall for me. I don't like them inside the waistband. That's the only way I tried it, though. So. Okay, we want to know if you carry a fixed blade, where do you carry it? Let us know down in the comments. We've got a couple other knives we're going to look at. We're going to look at an Nessie Azula here. Mm -hmm. We're going to look at a Minimalist there. We'll come back to that after the commercial break in just a minute. Enjoy. <laughs> just buy it. Just buy, buy it. it. <laughs> just click the link and buy it. Oh, yeah. That's nice. You like that. You like that. Do it! <laughs> Wait, you literally going to make a commercial out of that? All right, then we are back <laughs> with yes. more fixed blade knives for EDC. The next one we're going to talk about, Tyson, you're carrying it. What is it? The uh, CRKT Minimalist. Yeah. Minimalist. It comes in actually a lot of different uh, blade styles. I like the little Warncliffe one. 
and uh, the minimalist name suits it pretty well. I got huge monkey hands, and I can always get a good grip on this. Yeah. I keep one of these at my desk for uh, just opening boxes and stuff. I won it in a raffle. Nice. Pretty cool. <laughs> I have seen more guys carry this knife as a neck knife than any other. I, I took a picture of a guy when I worked at CRKT, pulled it out from under his shirt, and it had like all this body grime on it and oh. stuff. Ew! Beautiful. A little bit gross. That's kind of gross. But he was just like... That proves that he's carrying it. Yeah, right? and it was yeah. like legit. He's like, I've carried this for three years, yeah. and he loved it. Uh, David over at Ultimate Survival Tips carries okay. this knife in this configuration just like that. Yeah. Um, so it's definitely a good knife. Allen Volt's design, and uh, you got a couple different blade shape options. I prefer the Warncliffe. That's the original. Mm. Um, beautiful blade. And it's ultra lightweight. Too. Yeah, I think if you're going for a neck knife, there's really not a lot better options out there. Yeah. Because no. that thing is so small, so really light, no and like Tyson was Put saying, Put it back it in your shirt. Hand. Does it print at all? Because mm. I know for a lot of guys, no, not I'm really. Sure. Yeah. That might be because of your huge pecs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sorry, yep. Tyson. <laughs> Sorry to abuse you like this. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, no, even on me, and I'm a pretty skinny sucker, that thing doesn't print at all, which I think is a, a super nice feature on a knife. Uh, I don't I don't really like fixed blades to show, mm, personally. Um, so one way I do like to carry them, kind of out of sight, just like this on the Azula. And this is a, that one's a little tight. This one's brand new. I have a, an older version of this Azula, same, same thing. Mm -hmm. But uh, I like to carry them like this, and the reason for that is I have to be careful when I'm resheathing it, and I know exactly where it is. Okay. And so when I carry a fixed blade when I'm hiking or camping, mm -hmm. that's where I like to carry it. And this one actually comes with uh, the lock on it. You can throw a tech lock on there if you like. Um, SC Azula, I like it. This one needs a little bit of paracord. And uh, we actually put out a video a long time ago how to cord wrap these <laughs> things. But uh, I like the Azula a lot. Yeah. It is probably one of the best-selling fixed blades on our site, and it for is. great reason. Yep. Yeah, it's super lightweight, super small and concealable, but still big enough that it can handle most any task. I, I love the 1095 steel on it, too. I like to take it out and bead on it. Nice. Uh, you can with SE, too. You, you can. They, they make them gnarly. I got a hung list that I've put through hell, and it's taken it just fine. Yep, nice. And they, they also have a, an unconditional warranty on it, so you can buy, sell it. It is uh, an excellent warranty on the Azula. So that's how I like to carry that one. Austin, you've got one more on you. Sure. What is it? Last and where one. are you carrying it? It is abdomen carry right here, but inside the waistband. And it's the H and K, the plan D. Yeah. And Which this is, is discontinued. Discontinued, yep. Um, Benchmade just took over all of the H and K production, so it'll be a Benchmade soon. What is that one called? The Azaria. Azaria. Uh, Jamie's probably going to chew us out <laughs> if we got this one wrong. I bet you got it right. <laughs> yeah. But this is discontinued and also discounted on our site right now. So. Go grab them while you still can. Now, why would you carry this particular knife? That's that's a great question. I think these are pretty popular in the LE community as an offhand, like off of your gun hand um, option for backup. And it's got the great karambit style and it can, can be held in a lot of different grips, which Reverse is really grip. great. Yep. Personally, I don't have much use for a karambit. Sure. Uh, this one's have... got a nice one cliff blade though, so it's like yeah, it's not true. like the you hawk could... bill blade. That's yeah, you could definitely use it as more of a use. utility tool. Yeah, absolutely. Um, if you do carry a karambit, I'm curious. Let us know in the comments why you carry it, where you carry it. I think this is a good option. Can you show the sheath on that one oh, too, sure. Austin? Yeah. So Does that just, one come off? Uh, yeah, I can pull it out of there. Maybe. Maybe oh, not. Oh, I got it. Look Here it comes. There it goes. Boom. So yeah, just a pretty standard little sheath there. But it's great. It's nice and small and thin, really thin. So Nice. Yeah. You could, you could carry that neck knife style if you wanted. Oh, you definitely could. It could be a little awkward. Yeah, you. I bet you could take the clip off. Though. Yeah, you yeah. can definitely take that clip off. Yeah, you Very can. Very nice and thin, so. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Very cool knives. What's okay, Tyson? We know what you carry. Mm -hmm. Um, you've been carrying it for a long time. You love it, Austin. Which which one of these would you carry? That's a good question. I'm. I would carry the one that I've got, the Obake. Would you? Yeah, I I love Lucas Burnley and. I like the. It's Can we get like some a, like hearts around this? <laughs> <laughs> I love the traditional uh, Japanese style knives that he makes, and yeah, it's just a beautiful piece. And I like that he put some thought into the cord, the static yeah. cord, and how you can move it around. I think that's a really great innovation. So I like that too. I would choose the Obaki. You go Obaki. Yeah. And how about you? Um, I have an Azula, and I do carry you it. Do. So yeah. I'm gonna throw that one out as an option. Okay. I love a good minimalist. Makes I sense. do. I I tried to carry it as a neck knife, yeah. and I kind of go crazy with things around my neck. Mm -hmm. 
but I think it is a stellar knife. Mm -hmm. And at the price point, I don't think you can beat it. Oh, no. This one's a little big for me. Yeah, it's a um, big knife for sure. It's a large knife. That's more of a camping knife to Agreed. me. Agreed, yeah. Uh, this guy, uh, no training. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. If no you're into knives for self-defense, yep. it's a great option. Okay, what about you, Tyson? What would you carry other than the one you already carry? <sighs> well, <laughs> uh... Out of these ones? Yeah. Or, or pick something off the site. Well, the actually, site. there there's one that I looked at before the Guardians came out, or I was aware of them, called the Boker L Hero. Okay. Um, that one's actually pretty cool. It's got a similar leather sheath. Um, I think it's a little smaller. But check that one out. It was, it was definitely cool. a close second. Um, out of these ones, probably that one too. I, I didn't yeah. know about the whole string thing, but sure. that's, that's pretty gnarly. It's pretty cool. Yeah. It works good. And I like that it loves just like, I love that it looks just like a mini samurai like a sword. samurai sure. sword, for sure. <laughs> it's no, pretty it's rad. Solid. Very cool. Solid. Again, yeah. if you carry an EDC fixed blade, which mm -hmm. one is it and why do you carry it? At the same time, if you know about these knives and want to leave a review on our website, bladehq.com, go for it. Let us know what you think over there. So if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them below in the comments and we'll do our best to answer them. Jamie will put in snarkier marks and sometimes <laughs> Austin and I will as well. We'll have another video for you coming next week. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys. Later. <laughs> oh. Says your confidence one, boosted. No, it's like one part bullcrap and one part smile and wave. Yeah. <laughs> <Ollie boys. laughs>